Hey Cancer, type in your four ones and take a beautiful deep breath in. Ready? Challenging your human, you're raising your vibration, kissing your higher self, and exhale. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to channel Cancer Spiritual Guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cancer, honey, you got the full moon at the end of the month. I feel like this. You really are coming into December. awoke. I feel like you have just been spiritually awakened. I feel like you are awakened to your calling. I feel like you know what this is, but I feel like some of you are doubting yourself. But guess what? At the end of the month, you've got an opportunity to just do it, to just go for it and to really, really Honor the relationship you already have with our ancestors. I feel like many of your ma maternal ancestors are reaching out to you and telling you to dream bigger. I feel like this is a strong do-over this month and what is healthiest for you. So lifestyle, um, eating right, getting out and being in nature, just enjoying different activities that get you out and about safely but i just feel like it's it's really time for you woo, to deepen deepen your connection with our ancestors because they're talking to you I feel like, you know, when this child's love comes in, I feel like, you know, you need to go back to what makes you happy. What's your inner child telling you? What's making your heart skip a beat? What What is it that you really wanted to do when you were a child and also signifies a relationship with a child in your life? But, honey, I feel so strongly that this is more so... With your career, it's definitely what really does it for you. And I feel like last month, your ancestors were talking to you a great deal. And it might have freaked out a couple of you. But it's okay to go in the direction that is your calling. I feel like it is going to upset some people, but I really feel like cancer, this is something that you have to do in order for you to feel complete. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this is a plan. I feel like you, you know, spirit has been telling you what to do. I feel like you've already been starting your social media accounts and getting in touch with resources. I really feel like you're doing that research. And for anybody that's kind of behind the eight ball, if you will, there's time. You just need to focus on what do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? And remember, our ancestors are right here for you. They are guiding you to the master plan of your destiny. And when we have to, when we have that going on, this is your calling. It's so important. When we have that going on, we have to release from the past. We've got to let go of the relationships, the toxic connections that are keeping us from achieving our goal. Whoa. Okay, emotions are running high. This is your full moon, so you can expect to go into 2021 with some emotionally intense energy. But what is it that you want to do? 
I feel like someone is doing natural, uh, not ta it's tapestry, but it's uh, it looks very Native American. And I feel like this is something that your ancestors passed down to you as a skill. It's definitely with your hands. There's a lot of color and not a lot of natural resources there that you're using. And I feel like, you know, in the quiet of your space, in the quiet of that moment, you're hearing and you're seeing someone's truth and it's toxic. And I feel like your ancestors really are telling you, please walk away from those groups of people. Walk away. Some of it is family uh, and blood family. Some of them are cousins. Some of them are your, you know, parents. And I just feel very strongly, though, that's, that's, it's hard. You know, it's very difficult. But when Spirit's telling you to stand your ground, honey, it certainly is because you're about to be blessed so big. So sometimes you have to stand your ground to your parents, to your children even, and they're not going to like it. They're not going to like the fact that you want to come out of retirement and do and start your own business. They're not going to like the fact that you want to go into your own business or do something that doesn't seem like it's going to create a lot of money, a lot of income, but you're very passionate about it. You're very passionate about service to humanity and it's going to work for you because of your passion, because of this beautiful drive that you have towards making it happen. This comes in from being the, from your childhood years. This is something that you were doing already. I see some of you were playing uh, nurse, but you went into nursing thinking, okay, I can do that. It's in the medical industry. I've always seen myself in it. But then I feel like you're moving more towards home health. And I feel like that close connection with your, I want to say consumers, is where it's at for you. It's not inside of the hospital. It's not working for a doctor uh, it's more being contracted out and you are able to just plant those beautiful seeds of love to people and just pour your love into them, your patience, and not be so so regulated and have this rigid um, structure that you have to follow. And it, it just does something for you. I do see some fish just flapping their, their tail there. I do see so get in water. Certainly, if you have Pisces energy, um, very strong in your birth chart, your natal chart, if you vibe with Pisces energy, you already, of course, you do as a Cancer, but if you vibe very strongly with Pisces, like noticing that you have Pisces in your family, your friends, that you get along with, I definitely would, uh, I would ask them to be your accountability partner. Ask them, and it might be a spouse, it might be a lover, partner, significant other, um, but ask whoever that is to, if you can consult with them, share your dream, share, share your vision, because I feel like they get it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, Cancer, don't give up. Don't give up. I feel like some of you have just had it so hard. So hard. Trust your instinct. Trust your feelings. In love, Spirit is asking you, what are you in fear of losing? Remember what Spirit said. What do you need to release this month? Who do you need to release? And listen to the wisdom of your heart. You can definitely manifest negative prophecy, but don't you dare. You're very, very connected to our ancestors. You govern our ancestors' energy. So they channel through you all the time. I mean, you are a medium. Lost souls come to you all the time. That doesn't mean that you're automatically okay with it, but I'm telling you, they are. And so just know that whoever it is that's not giving you unconditional love, then 
let them go stand your ground to them right stand your ground because it may just very well be the fact that you've got to let them go live their life the way they want to because what you want your goal is family your goal is marriage your goal is longevity your goal is let me do me let me open up my business let me start my own fund let me start my own uh, nonprofit. I want to do service work, service to humanity, to my community, whatever it is, know that the universe definitely has your back and trust it because emotions are high when that happens. Arguments can happen, frustration can happen, but it's it happens when you're in touch with the universe. You're in tuned with what your ancestors are saying to you but that doesn't mean that you want to hear it. Some of you are fussing with children, grown children. I feel like it's the other way around because I can see the back and forth. I'm grown. You know, well, who is the parent here? I can hear that going on. Walk away. Because at the end of the day, Cancer, this is about you, what you want, what do you desire. And at the end of the, the month, December 29th, it is an amazing time for you, to, for you to really manifest it by letting go, releasing what it is you're afraid of releasing, who it is you're afraid of releasing. Talk to our ancestors. Make sure you have your ancestral altar. And remember your focus is on unconditional love. You deserve that, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Also, I just... I feel like, you know, look into as you're researching, look back through your past connections that you may not have been in touch with. This is an excellent month for you to just reach out to them, share with them what's on your soul, what your, what your plan is, what your vision is, and just tell them, you know, I just had it have you on my soul to share this with you and I wonder what you've been up to and I really feel you're gonna be you're gonna get in contact with someone that is along the same lines of what you're doing has the same type of vision and definitely sees it immediately as a partnership I feel like they have the funding I feel like they you know have done the part B where you've done the part A and you guys come together. I just feel like definitely don't hesitate on that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ooh. Yeah, don't hesitate. You've got this. With this King of Swords in reverse, I feel like that's definitely saying that, well, do I have it? It's that inner outer struggle thinking about it too much, feeling a little less sure and confident. Honey, have that conversation and the emotions that are running high. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Yeah, you own this. You are the king. You are the queen of your castle. Woo! You are the, you are the CEO and where you might have felt a little bit confused there um, in the past, that's in the past. Right now, you know, you're sitting on, have that di discussion, have that conversation, and you, you decide how you want to do it, Cancer. You have the respect that you need to have to make this come to pass, to make your your vision come into being. Oh yeah, you definitely are releasing. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you. Woo!
Oh my, okay, watch out for the deception. Honor your intuition, Cancer. You've got such a strong connection here with our ancestors. Your intuition is so on point. Let me tell you something. Please trust it. And just know that you are sitting on a successful business venture and unconditional love in your love life. So if, if it got a little intense where you guys were arguing, fussing with each other, or you feel like, well, I'm single, there's nobody there, please keep calling that person in because you're spiritually connected. That's for sure here. Watch out for the deception, okay? Uh, three is a crowd when it comes to your love life, for sure. Um, but you definitely have the energy here for you to receive some offers of in some in in love certainly as in dating as in um you know would like to get to know you but also in a position of in your calling that you really love to do it brings you back to the love you have of something in your childhood I feel like, you know, the financial aspect is there. I feel like there's a loss of finances there. But seriously, don't uh, allow anybody to convince you to do anything out of integrity. That's not your energy. Um, try hard not to be so secretive because even though you are protecting yourself, absolutely you should. Deception is definitely here. Um, remember that the right one is waiting for you to reach out to them too, okay? I mean, honey, they're waiting. They're waiting to sweep you off your feet and they're waiting to bless you as the business, with the business partnership that you truly do, you want, okay? You really want that. So... The energy is certainly there. And I mean, it's a great opportunity. It's the, the creme de la creme of it. It's the holy grail of that type of a love relationship and that type of career, a job, business. But trust your instinct. You know, I feel like there's going to be a strong need to feed faith and starve fear. But at the end of the month, I really feel like you know what and who you need to let go of. And it is going to be a conversation. You are definitely needing to stand your ground. Uh, there was a lot of restriction you felt in the past. But you know what? That's over with. I do feel like you need to keep one behind your back. But don't get it twisted. Be very aware of being too hidden. So watch out for anybody that's taking your kindness for a weakness in your love life and in your money because I feel like, you know, that guarded energy is you're in touch. Okay, you're in touch with your intuition no doubt about it, no doubt about it, that you are in touch with your energy in your connection with our ancestors. However, use your spiritual gifts. Use your mind's eye. See through your spiritual sight because I feel like that surprise of, oh my gosh, they would really stab me in the back. Yes, they would. But don't forget that you have that control. So don't hand over your control to be the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. Don't don't let that let anybody else get this ace of wands that says, you know, I can just I got this. Boom. I I've got it. I know what to do. I can take action. It'll be it'll work in my favor. Don't let anybody twist your um 
energy around to think that you don't, that you don't have that power. You sure enough do. Let me tell you, you've got that power. So keep it integrity. You know, with the emperor here, honey, this is an amazing, amazing opportunity to really be the leader, the CEO, the CFO, the owner, the uh the manager, the team lead, the supervisor. It really is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity that you have here. So at the end of the month, Cancer, release, let go, let God. It's okay to fall in love. Somebody is bringing unconditional love here. Male or female, it's coming. Divine masculine and divine feminine is there. So just be careful because the deception is there too. And you don't want this to cause you to feed fear and starve faith. Use your intuition. It's definitely here. Definitely here. Have that conversation. Expect for the emotions to run high. But remember, uh, you're right there. Stand your ground, okay? Stand your ground. Because you're so close to reaching your goal. All right, dear Cancer. Honey, I would love to share a blessing with you that has blessed every area of my life and my family's lives. And if you are open to hearing it, click the links down below unless you and I have a short conversation. All right, dear Cancer, if there's anything else I can do for you, I'm here. You just let me know.